all right guys welcome back for another video uh this one today is going to be pretty fun it's the second annual creepy con show um up in ontario at the ontario convention center and uh i'm freaking excited i got a few people you know only about five this time around a little less than you know last year but uh the ones i want dude like i i really want them so i need them on a few things uh, a few collector's items obviously so yeah pretty excited the squad's uh gonna be there so yeah i got my coffee ready i just gotta go grab some food i got about a 40 minute drive to ontario so let's do it all right here we are just parked it's still a little early but there's already a line so uh yeah just gotta wait a little more and then we'll be inside <laughs> Who I ran into for the second time this weekend. God damn, Hollywood show now Hollywood we're here. Show, now we're here. What's up? Do we have problems when it comes to autographs? Are we like crackheads, yeah. like autograph collectors? I mean, you know, yeah, at a certain point you gotta slow it down. So I, I'm being real selective this weekend. What about you? You got anybody? I got the screen people on my mask. Okay. So nice. I got Heather Monterazzo on there and stuff. That's right, yeah. I got, uh, I already got, I got Henry Winkler after all yesterday. Me at the too, yes, show. me too. I got him on the screen poster. Today I'm trying to get Lee Waddell. And then uh, pretty soon, Days of the Dead Vegas. Rose. Rose McGowan. Please don't gotta cancel. Get her. And then uh, if you don't know, if you, if you guys don't know, um, freaking, uh, you know, Screen Fest, Beers and Beers, they're actually having a My Bloody Valentine 3D screening. Oh. The director, Patrick Lucier, he was actually the editor on the first three screen movies. So that's that's a rare name right there. That's if cool. If you need them, if you, any of you guys watching, you is guys it, need them. Was it a Monday or a Sunday? Uh, you know what? I believe my, it's my a only Tuesday. Off. Oh, oh. I believe it's a Tuesday. I don't know what day. It's the day of Valentine's Day, literally. Oh, that's cool. So that's pretty cool, you know? Oh, yeah, man. But uh, anyway, yeah, we're going to check out the show, walk around, and see what we find. Let's do it. <laughs> It's so fucking long. <laughs> Thanks for checking for me, though. Okay, thanks. What was the name of Casey's boyfriend? Because technically, I get credit for him now, too. Uh, Steve. There we go. Steve. There you go. I just had a nice... <laughs> because I'm like... It's like this running joke. I'm like, all right. They still won't gut it out. And I supposedly did that, but I didn't actually do it. I'm like, do I get credit? He goes, yeah, because it didn't fly. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'll take credit. There you go. And Steve. Good old Steve. <laughs> Good old Steve. <laughs> you had a lot of guts, huh? I guess you could say. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's perfect. I'll let that dry a little bit more. Oh, yeah. That one's going to set up pretty quick. 
Um, do you want me to personalize it? Uh, you know what? Just uh, just name, quote. signature and character name is fine. Uh, quote? Um, yeah, if you have a favorite one, yeah. Yeah, I got lots of favorite ones. There you go. <laughs> I love you, Scott. I do. How is that? That is perfect. Yes. Thank you so much. And we're doing a photo tour. What's up, Mike?
you can't have the six foot six Jack Burton. Yeah. <laughs> but Escape from New York, they're making that. Uh, we're adding on to the other thing. I think so. I How did he show that travel to US? guys so creepy con finally came and went uh it was a long weekend for me first weekend i've ever done three back-to-back -back, you know events which i'll probably never do again after this experience because uh it was exhausting i'll just say that but uh yeah so i'm gonna show you guys now uh, everything i got signed at creepy con before i get into the autographs uh this was pretty much the only piece of uh, actual merchandise I actually picked up at the show and uh, ironically enough it's not even for me it's uh, for my girl so we both are in love with you know the classic uh, universal monsters so uh, yeah saw this tote had to pick it up for her um, the booth was pretty cool it's called a uh, knee-high horror and they were nice enough to I guess with any purchase you can take one of each of uh, these stickers right here so 
I got a little footage of their booth. Um, so, you know, they were uh, showing some love to any uh, customers. So they got some pretty cool designs, man. If you guys uh, see them at a convention, definitely check them out. All right. So the first thing I got autographed was uh, I had to get in Matthew Lillard's uh, super long line, as you guys saw earlier in this video. Um, and yeah. I already had this signed by uh, Skeet. Um, it was gifted to me by a friend of mine, and it already had, you know, Skeet signature on it. So I, I just needed Matthew to complete the piece, and uh, <laughs> he actually signed over um, Skeet's face. That was kind of on me because I didn't react fast. I got caught up in the moment. I, I wanted him to tell him to sign like you know under his face so it could be balanced out. But ah, eh, it is what it is. I still got um, I still got both signatures on it, so you know I'm happy with it. There you guys go. And I also had to get Matthew uh, for the Scream 8x10 collection. So uh, I had him write the I'm feeling a little woozy here line. And uh, yeah, there you guys go. It was a pretty long line. I'm not even going to lie. Like I was probably in line for him for like two hours. Yeah. So uh, yeah, but I got it though. <laughs> so there you guys go. And also had to get Skeet on the uh, 8x10 collection. So had him write the uh, mm, corn syrup, the same stuff they use for pig blood and carry line. And uh, you guys got the signature and, of course, his character name. So, yeah. Both this one and the uh, stew, you know, 8x10 autograph came out pretty freaking cool. So uh, we're heading to uh, Days of the Dead. So we're probably gonna get rose on an 8x10 as well um you know hopefully she has some cool stuff at her table so we'll see and i also need her on the uh on the screen poster so yeah and after years of trying and um you know him not being at shows i'm at and vice versa uh yeah finally got the chance to meet richard Brake, man freaking joe chill himself the uh you know, I told him that. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I, I told him I loved him in uh, Batman Begins, you know, as Joe Chill. If you guys don't know who Joe Chill is, he's the guy who kills uh, Bruce's parents. So, he, I, you know, I told him, I'm like, technically, you know, you, you created Batman. Like, you know, you're you're responsible for Batman. <laughs> so, yeah, it was pretty, uh, it's pretty cool, man. He's a super nice guy. Um, it was nice meeting him, finally. Um, so, yeah, that was, a, that was a bucket list. So, I had him sign this 8x10 from 31 and uh, i always tell people you know doomhead like the movie itself 31 it kind of like i don't know why it kind of falls apart for me like about halfway through but the character himself like i love doomhead if he got a spin-off like i i would watch the crap out of that um so yeah i i was so freaking happy to meet him finally so anyway um here you guys go he wrote in hell, everybody loves popcorn. There you guys go. And I really wanted to meet Lauren Lavera, the uh, final girl, you know, Sienna from Terrifier 2. Um, I went to go watch it in the theater. I freaking fell in love with it. I don't give a crap what people say about the runtime. Uh, for me, it just flew by, dude. Like, it. if you guys haven't seen Terrifier 2, watch it. Um, I loved, like, the comedy, the gore. It was just fun. It was just a fun freaking ride um, from start to finish for me. So, yeah, I don't I don't get people's complaints that it was too long. It's like, you know, if they if they made a two two and a half hour freaking Jason or Michael, like I would be there opening day. I don't I don't give a crap. Give give me more, you know. But uh, anyway, finally got to meet her. Uh, she was super freaking nice. Um, yeah, like I, I can't say enough, you know, good things about her. She was. Uh, talkative and um yeah she was engaging with like everybody that met her and stuff like that so yeah it was cool meeting her and got this eight by ten um didn't get it personalized because you know I, i'm kind of wanting to put a stop to personalizations on my on my stuff just for a future like if i want to do like a cast piece and stuff like that just to have more space um especially for you know the big posters and stuff like that but uh yeah anyway here you guys go all right, so I got the poster laid down on the bed so you guys can see it, get a good look. 
So for my previous, you know, my Hollywood show video, you guys saw me meet uh, Henry Winkler. Who, of course, you know, people know him as the Fonz, but he did play the principal. Um, and I had him write, the principal loves you, as uh, that's what he says on the intercom. And uh, for this show at CreepyCon, I got Lee Waddell, who of course played the actual, you know, stunt, you know, ghost face. Um, so it's pretty cool. Finally get him on the poster. And then in about two weeks, I'm gonna finally get, get a chance to meet uh, Rose McGowan, who played Tatum. So yeah, gonna get her on the posters pretty soon too. There you guys go. All right, and that's gonna wrap up my CreepyCon 2023 video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and a uh, fun little uh, tidbit for you guys. They are going to do another CreepyCon show late September. Um, so look out for that. That's pretty interesting. It's going to, I guess they're trying to do like a Monster Palooza thing, trying to have two, you know, it's going to be like a smaller show, I guess, um, that type of thing. But, you know, hey, more conventions is uh, more conventions in L.A., you know, around the area is cool with me. So, yeah. Uh, we got that to look forward to. We got Son of Monster Blues, obviously. We got uh, H45, the Halloween, you know, 45 Years of Terror convention. If you guys don't know about that one, that one's going to be in Pasadena. It's only every five years. So that's like, for me, that's the priority this year, um, later on. But yeah, so anyway, that's going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe uh, if you enjoyed it. And I'll uh, see you guys for the next video.